I am Senior Pastor Aldo Abraham Ndako, the Pastor United Missionary Church of Africa, Kwamba Suleja. Um, Easter is also called Pascha or Resurrection Season. This is the time and season whereby Christians celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, looking at the death and resurrection of Jesus, this is the most important aspect of our lives because that is what brings about salvation. Our salvation is gotten through the cross and when Jesus said it is finished, it means that the load of our sins comes to an end. When Jesus said it is finished, it means that everything that devil can lay hold upon us and said, no, you are guilty of this. Jesus has taken it away. So it worth celebration and that is why we celebrate Easter season. So that we'll be able to see that everything about our life is coming out from the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is what birth salvation. Without salvation, there is nothing called Christianity. Remember, Christianity is not a religion, it is a lifestyle. And our lifestyle only comes through the cross of Jesus. And now, Jesus died for you and I, so that we might be saved also. The freedom that Jesus brought actually was activated on the cross when he said it is finished now the bible says in john 19 verse 30 when jesus said it is finished he said a lot of things he talks about so many things that has to do with our lives now the significance of the death and resurrection of jesus means that we are dead to sin we are dead to any cause that follows sin and the resurrection of Jesus brings about blessings and life eternal that we all are ascribed to. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is not limited to Christians alone. For the Bible says, the, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Now, the only begotten Son came for the whole world, not for Christians alone not for pastors but for the whole world so it is important we take this is a very serious and importantly reflecting on our lives and the finished work of jesus on the cross and also to look at the death and resurrection of jesus christians we must allow what jesus carried on the cross to reflect on us number one what jesus showed on the cross was selfless love love that was not self-centered if not a man who did nothing carry the sin of the whole world number two it shows the sacrificial love love that was not uh, worked for okay jesus actually died for us because of love not because we actually needed to be died for but because he loved us so as a child of god what we ought to show in our lives our characters number one is selfless love and number two sacrificial love for the body of christ and also for the entire world in this season we also see how jesus even when he was beaten by soldiers, he looked at God and said, Father, forgive them for they knew not what they are doing. It shows that, yes, I need to suffer, I need to die, yet there is hope for me. I want us to put our attention and our focus on the glory that will come, not on the suffering that we are passing through now. On our relationship with our neighbors, with our co-workers, and anywhere we see ourselves, even as Jesus loved throughout. The Bible says Jesus Christ was anointed and he went about doing good. So everything about us, even when we are 
persecuted, even when we go through hardship, all that is expected of us is to live a good life, is to reflect on the love of Jesus and extend it anywhere we have the privilege and opportunity. The resurrection of Jesus has many messages vital to the body of Christ and to the entire world. Even though Jesus passed through hard times, he was beaten, he wept and all of that. But the Bible shows us specifically and we believe that on the third day Jesus resurrected. And he didn't resurrect to this pain again, he resurrected to glory. So to what we are passing through in this generation, especially in our nation Nigeria, I want us to know that if we allow Christ to reign inside of us and we believe in him, I am very sure if Jesus resurrected from grief to glory, I am sure we are moving from all this season, all this sorrow, all these challenges, difficulties, insecurity, we are moving to a time of glory. We are moving to a time of God's blessings. We are moving to a season where we'll be able to celebrate the victory of God through the cross. I want us to know that the cross of Jesus is a ladder to glory. So if any of us will accept this cross of Jesus, I am very sure that glory is coming upon us. Glory is coming for our nation. Joy is coming to Nigeria again, even as we trust God in this season of resurrection. Resurrection specifically means restoration. Anything called joy, anything called favor, anything called peace, even in this nation, can return back again through this season. I believe and let all Christians wherever we are and everyone watching me wherever you are today believe that the cross of Jesus is a ladder to a glory and if Nigeria we accept the cross of Jesus glory is coming to Nigeria again in respect to this season I want to shortly talk about this forthcoming election, the campaigns and everything. We see that even in this season, Peter angrily cut off the ear of somebody and Jesus said, no, 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 you don't have to do that. So as a child of God, commemorating this season of death and resurrection of Jesus, we need to compose ourselves as a child of God with love, with understanding, with maturity, being a Christian is not actually easy. There are so many times that what belongs to you, they may want to shift it away from you. But I advise you that because you are a child of God, look up to Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit of God direct you in the affairs of this election as you go up and down, as you relate in whatsoever party. And I am sure that the perfect will of God will be done in the name of Jesus. The death and resurrection of Jesus is for everybody. And I have this message for you, wherever you are watching me from, that in the name of Jesus, if you believe and accept the death and resurrection of Jesus, anything that seems dead in your life can come back to life again. It could be spiritual, financial, academic. The Bible says it is finished. It means that your challenges come to an end today. It means that your difficulty come to an end today. It means that cost laid upon you come to an end today. Whatsoever it is, whatsoever you are going through now, that difficulty comes to an end because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So wherever you are, just believe that Jesus is Lord. I am telling you by conviction that everything evil, negative, come to an end in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Music